Welcome back to another Reality Check VR Tech unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing the AlphaWise U10 3D printer, and this thing is, of course, a beauty. But before we get into that, we're going to go ahead and talk briefly about some of the things that have been going on recently. It's been like three months since I've done an unboxing video, and that's because I've been in Brazil for the last several months. And while I've been there, I've been able to do all kinds of different unboxings that uh, just haven't been able to make it to the channel yet, such as we did uh, actually two other 3D printers, including the Innie cubic castle upgraded 3d printer we put one of those together uh, we had a lot of things going from that uh, we also printed some whistles for the the world cup we got to, to also unbox the Trunksy x5s 3d printer which is you know a, a, a mega beast and it's the first 3d printer that i've actually put together that has kind of the top down platform and we also got to print uh, some characters like the 3d dot from pixel ripped uh, and so we you know had a lot of fun with that but not only did we do the, the 3d printers uh, I actually got to unbox like a 4k box which is like a little you know box that goes for your television set kind of like the Amazon ones I did the amaze fit watch which is kind of like yeah, the Samsung gear competitor for the Chinese version I also got to do like a digital clock which was really cool because you know we all had clocks back in the day and this is one of those versions where like you, you have to charge it with like a, a cell phone charge cable like once every few months and then you can put a, a light on your time so you can see very easily plus you can of course uh, set the alarms for three different alarms so it's just it's a handy thing to have plus uh, I really like the, the, the fact that it kind of reminds me of how things used to be so um, we've also did an unboxing of the Firefly cam which is a little 4k action camera uh, we've got a little bit of footage to show with that but uh, it, it's got phenomenal you know footage for considering the price is, is, is very low uh, I also did a couple of unboxings of different headphones some some headphones were silver some other ones were blue and I got to try those out they're currently at Arvory right now being used by the development team We also did a Veer HMD unboxing, which is uh, the Veer TV company, Veer.tv, which is a place that does 360 videos. And I also did an unboxing of the Wii View, which is a little side-by-side -side camera. So, uh, and, and all these things either happened in Brazil or like the Wii View and the, the AlphaWise U10, which you're about to see right now. Those were actually filmed before I left. So these are really, you know, the old footages that I'm finally putting forward. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the unboxing video. If you have any questions about it, I'm still using the printer right now. I actually just got it started up in the other room right now. So I can get some pro VR gear stuff created for your virtual reality accessories. Uh, and if you have any questions about the stuff, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer it. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Until next time. Okay, so here we are checking out the AlphaWise U10 3D printer. This is one of those large, large Cartesian style 3D printers. And of course it does have the 400 by 400 by 500 millimeter tall build volume. And it's even larger than the CR10 base model. So this thing is kind of a clone, if you would call it, of the CR10. And uh, likely so, it is actually uh, a very good printer within itself. It has a four millimeter thick glass bed as well as a heated print bed so you can also uh, do things like your normal PLA, your nylon as well as your ABS without any problems. It uh, is very very easy to assemble. It comes in two main parts as you'll see in the unboxing and uh, you can just put it together very very quickly even for beginners it's just a, a very simple process. So once you've connected the pieces that you need uh, all you have to do is get the printer heated up to get the plastic in and uh, then you're off and running. One uh, nice feature about this printer is that it actually comes with a filament detector, meaning that if the filament runs out in the middle of your print, the printer will actually stop printing and allow you to add more filament so that you can then resume the print without having to waste time or of course have any failed prints. So that's uh, one really nice feature. Another feature of this printer is it also does come with a restart, meaning that if you do actually lose power or you somehow you know, lose connection with the printer, you can actually restart your print even if the power does fail. So uh, once again, you have less chances of losing time, losing filament by actually saving prints and making sure you have more successful prints all over. So.
this uh, printer, uh, like I said, does come with a lot of these great features. It also comes with a Bowden extruder, as you'll see, and uh, everything seems to run pretty well on it. I've only printed a handful of things with it so far, and uh, now I've got it going again so I can print some more virtual reality accessories with it. Um, but I would say for a printer under $500, it definitely does anything and everything that I need it to, need it to do so far. And uh, I'm very excited to continue printing with it. And uh, if you want to see more or have any questions about it, please let me know. Uh, until then, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just keep on uh, <laughs> testing this guy out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.